Hello my good friends, Larry here and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews here in Fort Worth, Texas. Yes, which is a beautiful sunny day and it's hitting around 91 degrees. Very pleasant outside but very dangerous as well. We had over 729 cases of the virus yesterday so it's getting worse so again to all my friends here in Texas and all over the US and the world be extremely careful take care of yourself and your others use that mask stay the social distance wash your hands use sanitizers do everything you whom be possible that you can do to keep yourself and others safe and well so review time so I am going to talk a little bit about a Jim Hines custom pens. If you haven't heard of Jim Hines yet, because there could be a lot of new people on the uh, pen call, roll call now per se, that maybe have never heard of Jim Hines. Well, first of all, you can find Jim Hines, Mr. Announcer, you have to give him his uh, e his uh, website. Uh, I believe that's HeinzPins.com. That's correct. That's where you can find it, and you can see uh, a lot of the pins Jim has for sale. I'm going to talk about a particular pin right now. Uh, it's called the Beacon Two. It was kind of a thought about yay or nay do to make that number two pin because the number one beacon two was perfect. Nothing wrong with it in my opinion. Beautiful fountain pen. Made by hand by Jim. Fit well in the hands. Had a good balance to it. Has a nice weight to it. Not overly weighted. Nice clip, very nice nib in it. So, why the number two beacon come out? Well, Jim was thinking they could enhance the classic beacon with those gorgeous swirls that you see in here. Make sure we get a nice close-up. And you'll find the original purple and gold from the Heinz pen classic. So with the Beacon 2, you'll find this pen a darker hue of purple, as you can see. Beautiful, stunning purple. It really is. With just a touch of silver that Jim added to it. And this gives more depth to the pen as well as the brightness. And it just brightens it up just a little bit. Not overly bright, but doesn't push it to the dark side. The pen is a little shorter and, of course, slimmer than the original one. The widest point of the barrel would be right about in here about 0.56 inches and the weight of the pin is 22.4 G's and the length of the pin capped as you see it here is 5.78 inches now this pin is postable and if my hunch is right, I do believe 1,000 billion percent that this pen will be welcomed with open arms as the original very first beacon came out. So, I personally like to welcome the Beacon 2 into the Heinz family of pins. 
It really is a stunning fountain pen. If you decide to buy one of these pens, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm not shooting no drive. I'm shooting straight talk, my friends, that this pen is really a beautiful, gorgeous writing instrument. So, right, let's just go to the clip. Nice, sturdy clip. And on the very top of the pen on the finial, it's flat, round. But it all comes together. And it does slim down here a little bit because it, the cap can post easily. And, of course, that beautiful purple flat bottom. And it unscrews almost four turns and for those who like to post now that could look a little what long maybe but it wouldn't bother me if I posted it but if you don't want to post it you're going to have a large enough barrel section to fit comfortable even in large hands I have small hands and you see how much space I have available left and as you go down the barrel, what I like about this pin, there's not a lot of step off here. It goes right into that grip section. Of course, right here is where the, uh, the cap screws on right here. And uh, they're not sharp. They're not annoying. And the grip section is not all that big, but it's big enough for my fingers, for medium-sized fingers. And if you have large fingers, it should do the trick because... Sometimes I tend to hold my pen here. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I just, I guess bad habit. And it doesn't bother me. But I'm thinking with large, I mean large fingers, you can still have a nice hole on this pen. Now, I got this pen with a gold nib. Uh, I had a choice. I could have just got the steel nib, but I didn't want that. And let me look this up here. Okay. Now, I got the 14K Extra Fine Gold Nib. Beautiful nib. If you're into nibs that look good, well, this has a nice look to it. It's got the Jim Hines logo on it. A very nice nib. Uh, if you've never used a Jim Hines nib... I highly recommend that you try his nibs. He does sell the nibs as well. But uh, this pen was worthy of a gold nib. I, you know, I, I just couldn't see it in a steel nib. No, no, there's nothing wrong with the steel nib that Jim sells, but, uh, you know, I, I just felt that this pen was just so... good looking so nicely made the color choices were all well put together it all formed into just a very nice writing instrument that I just had to get the gold nib on it so let's unscrew the barrel section and show you what's inside and it does come with a converter a Schmidt converter and this just pulled out So, when you post the pen, let's go back to that for a second. That's going to come out to 7.05 inches. Again, 22.4 G's is the weight of the pen. So, there, my friends is the new Beacon 2 from Jim Hines. So if you feel like you must have one, then go to Jim's website and order one. So if you're a pen enthusiast, if you're into pens, and you just like 
a nice, affordable, beautiful writing instrument, a pen that's elegant, a pen that will feel good in your hands and that will lay down the ink and have a nice, smooth, wet writing experience, then you want to try a Heinz and Ed. I mean, he kicks it. He rocks. Jim just rocks it. So what I want to do next, I want to fill the pen and do a little writing. And I am going to use the Beatles Psychedelic Purple by Mont Blanc. One of my favorite purple inks. Beautiful ink. And then we'll do a little bit of writing. So what do you say? Let's get the ink in the pen and get that going on first. And I think I've got about six pens I need to get cleaned out. So get everything ready here. <laughs> All right, my friends, here we go. in there. A little bit more than that because I do want to try other colors in this pen. Alrighty here. You set that aside. Put a lid on this. We just set that aside for now. And wipe off pen. And we'll get ready to write here in a few. Alright. If you decide to buy a pen, tell Jim Hines, Larry, from Larry's Fountain Pen sent you, or Larry the Pen Bug Guy sent you. One of the two. Let him know. So, now it's time. We do a little writing. So, let me get my paper ready. And this is Tomo River 52 G's. And I'll unscrew this amazing, beautiful, elegant fountain pen. All right, my good friends. And before I do, the nib sizes come in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1. And that's a $2 upcharge for that 1.1. 1.5 1 is uh, a $2 upgrade. And of course, your nibs, you can check out on Jim's site. And uh, he does also make colored nibs now. He does it in-house. Jim does it all by hand. So you can get a purple one if you want to match the pen. So check out his website. Here we go. All right, my friends. With the 14K, now this nib is to die for. Beautiful. Mm 
All right, now we'll do some writing. Do a few little swirls here. Really has some good ink flow. Nice smooth nib. And we'll do a wet test on it. Nice and wet. Extra fine nib. Number six nib. Very nicely toned nib. I'm totally satisfied with it. Let's try reverse writing. As well and down stroke and across stroke just really a, you know I, I'm feeling this nib this nib has just got to be an awesome so you put this kind of nib but this kind of pen you got nothing but a double barrel awesome right here beautiful fountain pen so Mr. Jim Hines this is to you my friend as always you knocked this one right out of the park, my friend. So I can't wait to see what comes up next. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed the review on the Beacon 2 by no other than the Jim Hines man himself. He makes each pen one at a time. Amazing pen maker. Why is he so amazing? That's his passion. That's his love. That's his desire. He burns for it. Man, this man feels it and loves it so much. You know, this represents Jim. Take care, my friends. Be safe out there. Wash them hands. And as always, don't text and drive. Take care. Peace out.